Gmail has finally got the much awaited design refresh after 5 long years and with the new design comes a ton of new functionality so we have compiled a list of 7 great new features that you should look out for. Before we go ahead with the video subscribe to our YouTube channel and be sure to hit the bell icon so you know when we have a new video. Hovering on an email conversation in your Gmail inbox will reveal shortcuts such as archive, delete, mark as read and snooze right next to the preview. While the first three were already a part of Gmail's functionality, snooze is the latest addition and it allows you to put off emails that you cannot get to at the moment. Additionally, shortcuts for apps such as Keep, Tasks and Google Calendar will also be available on the right edge. Nudge is a new AI-powered feature that will prompt users to follow up and respond to messages that haven't been replied to. For instance, for a mail you received 3 days ago, Gmail will use text like received 3 days ago reply question mark. And similarly for a mail you sent 5 days ago, the mailing client will use text such as sent 5 days ago follow up question mark. The smart reply feature was first launched on the mobile app for Gmail almost a year ago and the feature has finally made its way to the web version as well. Now what it does is that it provides the user with contextual responses to reply to emails received. For instance, Gmail will detect when questions have been sent to your inbox and will offer responses in variations of yes, no or maybe. These replies will vary depending on the context and history of messages. If you are already using the Gmail app, you know what these look like. Gmail on the web will now display a risk warning prompt when it detects an email received from a potentially suspicious source. The prompt will display warning text and offer a delete now button. This will offer some protection on the part of the user against clicking on harmful links in emails. A new confidential mode made possible due to information rights management has been added to Gmail. Available while composing an email, the mode provides senders with the option to prevent the recipient from forwarding, copying, pasting, downloading and printing the content in the email. This works even when mailing non-Gmail users by sending a link instead of the actual email. When the sent mail is opened, the link will be fetched and displayed if you mailed another Gmail user while other email users will only see the link. In both the cases, the security measures you set will be enforced. Additionally, an expiration date can be set to automatically delete the email after the mentioned time interval. Recipient verification is also available in confidential mode which allows for standard or two-factor SMS passcode verification. Gmail is also adding support for a new native offline mode on the web that works a lot like the offline mode on Google Docs. Users can search, write, respond, delete and archive up to 90 days worth of messages and work without interruption when Wi-Fi connectivity is unavailable. Offline mode will be helpful for areas with sketchy internet connectivity or while on the go, helping users preserve their content. The new feature has been announced and G Suite will be getting it in the coming weeks. For the mobile app, Gmail has not got a design refresh but instead got a few functional features. For instance, high priority notifications will help users get notified about important mail threads and email addresses without filtering through the lot. This will be yet another AI based feature allowing Gmail to assign priority to important emails from work, family and so on. And in another win for spam removal, Gmail will now offer shortcuts to unsubscribe from newsletters when it thinks that you no longer care about them. A prompt with shortcuts to unsubscribe or refuse will be displayed on top of the inbox on the mobile interface. So that was a quick rundown on the new refreshed version of Gmail. Let us know what you think about these new features in the comment section below. And like always, for all things tech, log on to gadgets360.com.